join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. Queen's College Galway was founded in 1845 after the construction of the beautiful quadrangle building that we'll see towards the end of this video. So stay around for that. In its opening year, in 1849, it welcomed just 68 students, as compared with more than 18,000 that study here today. It's located pretty much in the heart of beautiful Galway city and along one of the city's picturesque waterways. In front of us you see the Marine Science Research Centre, constructed after a 3 million euro donation in 1993. Here we see the O'Donoghue Centre for Drama, Theatre and Performance. It was built in 2016 and it was named Ireland's favourite building. The university sits on 105 hectares of land and has over 90 buildings. We'll see just some of them today. The university changed its name from Queen's College Galway to UCG, University College Galway, after the Irish Universities Act in 1908. Since 1997, it's been called NUI Galway, one of the national universities of Ireland. The university was visited in 2015 by Prince Charles, whose great-great-great-grandmother had issued the Royal Charter for the original college here. The university had a reputation early on of making appointments to female lecturers, and in 1920, female students outnumbered male students for the first time in any Irish university. The current President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins, studied and lectured here until he entered politics in 1977. Among some of the notable people that have received honorary degrees from the University is US President Ronald Reagan and his visit here on that occasion gave rise to a protest by staff and by students. Nelson Mandela received an honorary degree in person in 2003 as well. And how stunning is the quadrangle, this original part of the university? The first construction of this beautiful quadrangle building in 1846 was devised as a famine relief project. This building contains the Ola Maxima, which was damaged by fire in 1988, destroying the grand piano. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful then please give us a like, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you'll be alerted when Naked Ireland uploads other videos and please feel free to share the video as well. <laughs>